The film opens up when Joy was kid her life was exceptionally cheerful she resided with her folks her grandmother, and her stepsister Peggy she likewise has a closest companion named Jackie who is consistently there for her since youth satisfaction, has had a fantasy she needed to make another showstopper when happiness grew up she met an attractive man Anthony this Venezuelan man. Enjoys a side interest of singing they later wedded and had two youngsters however in the end they needed to. Separate since Euphoria couldn't manage Tony's lethargy even Tony couldn't stand to deal with his children Tony has consistently longed. For turning into a popular vocalist so Delight finds it hard to bear all their family undertakings. Alone regardless of this Tony actually prefers bliss. Even after the separation he actually resides in the storm cellar of Euphoria's home satisfactions folks are additionally separated. From Delight's dad left his family and remarried one more lady since the separation Delight's mom has been discouraged she is simply bustling watching dramas on TV one day Delight finds her novel production of a canine restraint the neckband is unique in relation to different pieces of jewelry. But it opened up Joy's old wounds because her creation had been claimed by another company because she was too late to patent the item at the time Joy was working as an airline booking agent but her work did not last long she was fired. Because the company was downsizing their employees Joy's problems get complicated. When her father who was married to another woman gets divorced again Joy's father then returns to Joy's house and wants to live there Joy is surprised that her father has to stay at her house in fact there is no place for his father in addition Joy's mother post-divorce problems have not fully recovered. When Joy's father just arrived he and Joy's mother immediately got into an argument until the father broke some things sorry honey. I don't like this thing even so Joy still accepts her father and asks him to live in the basement. With Tony Joy's ex-husband in the basement Tony was practicing singing seeing his ex-father-in-law coming Tony didn't. Like it so they argue Joy had to take a tissue roll to border Tony and her father's sleeping area a little flashback Joy and Tony. Meet at a party on the show Joy was mesmerized by Tony's performance while he was singing they continued to talk Tony shared his obsession. With becoming a famous singer this makes Joy even more amazed because she feels that Tony's life is not like her monotonous life it makes Joy fall in love with Tony and since then they dated and then got married Rudy. Joy's father did not like Tony since the beginning of their marriage at Joy and Tony's wedding Rudy messes up the party not only that Rudy also opposed Tony's obsession to become a famous singer Rudy thought it was just underscore underscore and wasting time one night Joy meets Jackie she told her various problems that occurred in her house a few days later secretly Rudy joined the matchmaking agency he who feels lonely is finally met with a rich widow named Trudy meanwhile Joy's mother is Panicking because the drains in her room are clogged so the water gushes out Rudy and Trudy plan their first date. In that meeting they felt fit and decided to have a romantic relationship to celebrate it Trudy invites Rudy. To go on her private boat Trudy also asked Rudy to invite his family to come along the next day while they were having fun. While drinking red wine suddenly the boat tilted slightly and Joy accidentally broke the glass Joy then cleaned up the broken glass but. When she was wringing the mop her hand was injured by the glass shards Joy then behaves strangely people that were confused by what happened to Joy they assumed that Joy was exhausted when Joy fell asleep she suddenly had an idea she even felt that she met little Joy who had the potential to create something new little Joy reminded adult Joy if for the past 17 years she has wasted it Joy then wakes up and suddenly asks Tony to move immediately because they are divorced. And it is, not good if they still live in the same house Joy also said the same thing to her. Father satisfaction requests that her dad move quickly on the grounds. That her dad is separated from her mom yet Rudy declines so Bliss made a proposal to her dad delight requests. That her dad assist her with getting cash from Trudy Euphoria trusts Trudy will put resources into her business then happiness. Promptly emptied her thoughts into pictures after Rudy visited with Trudy Delight was then welcome to make sense of her thought. Obviously happiness will have the plan to make a mop called the Marvel Mop a mop that isn't just barely gotten manually yet utilizing a mechanical switch even the mop can ring itself out yet they were as yet befuddled by Euphoria's clarification which was still as a picture so Euphoria needed to make it first with improvised devices. And with the assistance of her dad's representatives at the studio after that satisfaction returned to clarifying for Trudy. 
and her dad yet to get speculation from Trudy isn't so natural as envisioned Trudy needs to realize how. Savvy Delight is in dealing with her business Trudy posed happiness a couple of inquiries first where Delight used to go to class second. What accomplishments Joy'd get when she was at school and the third inquiry assuming in a room there is just herself her colleague, and a firearm would Bliss need to fire her business opponent. And Satisfaction responded to that large number of inquiries she likewise addressed the third inquiry, that she would take the weapon after that Trudy is at long last. Prepared to put away her cash as capital for Bliss business then Trudy welcomed Satisfaction. To do the creation cycle Delight began delivering her mop after that Satisfaction attempted to offer it and offered it to each store. That sells home devices Satisfaction sells her mop for 20 bucks yet a few stores deny it she was even offended and ousted. Despite the fact that Satisfaction's item is the main mop intended to make it simpler to utilize yet in business happiness mop was viewed as unbeneficial the proprietors favor clients to purchase at 5,100 bucks times as opposed to clients purchasing 20 bucks yet just once in this manner happiness attempted to sell it herself in the grocery store stopping lot accompanied by her daughter and Jackie but no one has bought it yet and she was kicked out by the security we're leaving we're leaving Joy's struggle Tony felt sympathy for her hard work then Tony invites Joy to meet his close friend Neil Walker Neil is a person who manages television stations and home shopping events in his office Neil asks Joy to present her product and demonstrate how the mop works at first some of Neil's colleagues seem to laugh at Joy's invention but they try to give Joy appreciation and after hearing an explanation of Joy's products Neil was interested and asked Joy to produce 50,000 mops to sell. On one of his television programs hearing that Joy was very happy can you make 50,000 of these mobs by next week. Yeah I think so in fact she was very amazed when she saw the sales on the television program which managed to sell a product of more than 25,000 units I think everything now you need this what's the cost of it those are FDC standards those were when they can't call through we gotta keep them watching Neil then encouraged Joy if her product could also sell that much after that Joy decided to borrow some more money from Trudy at first Trudy refused because Joy still had unpaid debts but after several hours of deliberation Trudy asked Joy's house to be used as collateral and in the end they agreed Trudy lent money to Joy again then Joy immediately produced the mops according to the amount requested by. Neil long story short all of Joy's family gathered to watch Joy's products to be advertised on television programs. They really hope it sells well but after the product was promoted none of the customers were interested in buying it Joy is very sad. Because she has spent all her money on her business then she called Neil and asked for compensation. Because he had told her to produce 50,000 units of mops, but in the contract it is not written. If the remaining items that are not sold will be completely replaced after going through negotiations, the company will only replace one third of its capital, even so. Joy did not give up at all. She went to Neil's office to ask for one more chance, and she herself would promote her product. In the television program, at first, Neil doubts Joy's abilities because she is not used to being in front of the camera. But in the end Neil agrees with Joy's request then Joy was ushered into the dressing room for makeup just like a presenter but Joy is uncomfortable with it and she wants to appear as herself she feels more comfortable with the way she is then the home shopping event began Joy looks nervous she was silent and unable to say anything it made Neil panic but suddenly a call came in asking for the mop and as it turned out the caller was Jackie she pretends to be a customer to Lord Joy. Into talking about her product instantly Joy spoke fluently she promoted the mop well and unexpectedly Joy's product orders reached 47,000 units, music, Joy is feeling very happy in fact the request doesn't stop there the orders kept on developing until a sum of 95,000 units of mops were requested through the occasion yet Delight's bliss is joined by miserable news since Euphoria's grandmother kicked the bucket this made satisfaction. Exceptionally miserable in light of the fact that Maine her grandmother who truly cherished her this time happiness is nearer to her grandmother than to her folks however presently when happiness has succeeded her grandmother has left her for good after. Her grandmother's burial service another issue came satisfaction got the news that the seller who provided her mop material out of nowhere expanded the cost singularly in the wake of seeing the excellent deals rating on TV this drove Rudy. 
Extremely crazy, he then sends Peggy to deal with the matter without Euphoria's information, Rudy said. That Peggy needed to be associated with Euphoria's business yet Peggy makes Euphoria's position. Considerably more vulnerable at long last Bliss needed to visit. The merchant yet there she didn't meet the proprietor of the manufacturing plant Bliss just met with the chief Bliss. Fights to the manufacturing plant supervisor about the cost being raised by the manufacturing plant proprietor without her insight. After discussions the production line proprietor would have rather not brought down the value satisfaction. Then needs to see the creation machine to demonstrate the reality of the explanation the cost went up yet euphoria. Isn't permitted to do that. Happiness felt dubious then she went to the latrine and coincidentally she found a ventilation opening. That was large enough she entered the opening and found it associated with the creation room satisfaction was stunned. When she saw that her work had been covertly licensed by the organization then the organization said that the patent has a place with them they even sold the item without euphoria realizing then they called the police and blamed satisfaction for getting through without consent. Until at last delight was captured however at that point she was delivered by her dad euphoria needs to prosecute this case yet. To no end in light of the fact that around then delight lost legitimately she faces a sovereignty guarantee. For each mop she sells this condition drives Trudy and Rudy mad in light of the fact that Euphoria's obligation continues stacking up bliss condition is deteriorating. Because Rudy also blames Joy he didn't realize it was his fault he sent Peggy and made things worse but Rudy thinks Joy has lost Trudy's money so Joy was forced by Trudy to sign a bankruptcy statement so that Trudy would not continue to lose and Trudy Cut off the investment relationship between them at first Joy refused because she still wanted to try to maintain her business. But because of pressure from various parties finally Joy wanted to sign the bankruptcy statement by signing. The letter the cooperative relationship between Joy and her investors is officially ended even though her condition is getting worse. And no one wants to support her Joy still hasn't given up Joy cut her hair as a sign of change then she studied and observed civil law copyright law and patents based on her analysis she found detailed differences between her design and the design patented by the company Joy also found facts about the date of the copyright registration of the product. It turns out that Joy's work was patented much earlier it was when Joy first borrowed money from Trudy to start her business with the documents. And the results of the analysis Joy went to see the owner of the company in a hotel room the owner of the company comes. And bullies Joy the owner said that he could have killed Joy and no one would know because people would think Joy died by suicide. Because she went bankrupt however it didn't scare Joy casually Joy explained the results of her analysis that there was a difference between Joy's mop design and the company's patented design so Joy has no obligation to pay royalties Joy also explained that she had already patented her work therefore the company could be prosecuted with cases of fraud. And also theft of ideas hearing Joy's explanation the owner of the company was frightened then he asked for peace. And would return Joy's royalty money along with interest and fines Joy stated that she would not precede this. Case to the law as long as the owner was willing to sign the documents that Joy had prepared after all the problems and obstacles. Our overjoy is now a big businesswoman and continues to create various works she also always patents her work joy with her children. And also her mother moved to a bigger house Joy also takes care of her father Neil Walker is also successful he becomes Joy's partner. And business rival however they maintain a good relationship with each other and friends. Even though now Joy is rich she never forgets her struggles she likes to help other people. And always respects the other entrepreneurs later Tony and Jackie became Joy's business advisors foreign.